Uh, welcome back everybody. I'm back here with the 83 Hearst Oldsmobile kit that I've uh, built to rep resemble the um, 82 Olds Cutlass that I had and that uh, had a, a engine fire that started in the block heater one winter morning. So uh, I've seen and dispersed some pictures of the uh, actual car that was on fire. I can show a few of them again and uh, in this video. But uh, here's the final product to resemble those pictures. You see the front tire was uh, burned off, so that's missing on there. I've taken some clear plastic and cut out from a, a container and uh, made some side windows. Painted those, just uh, glued those in with um, uh, super glue, crazy glue, and that's a bit of caused the white uh, discoloring on the glass there on the plastic. So that's just added to the effect. The back, I haven't done too much with the back, I just uh, put future on it. And uh, on the front, I've got it painted with some Americana white craft paint and, uh, and a bit mixed with a little bit of baking powder, baking, sorry, baking soda, and uh, make a bit of a paste and just stabbed onto the hood and the fenders and the engine bay there and engine compartment and a bit of a brown and black wash over it to uh, represent, I guess, which is probably the foam that the fireman sprayed on to put the fire out. And uh, Things kind of burned off. The fenders got burned off on that uh, left side there as well. The front tires flat, and the lights, the plastics burned right off. In real life, some of this uh, plastic here would have been burned off, but uh, if I had cut that away, there wouldn't have been much left to hold the bumper on. So uh, I just a little bit of uh, artistic license with that. Of course, all the wires and hoses burned off. Lights and plastic. Uh, light covers they're all gone. I drilled out the headlights and the side marker lights. A little bit of coloring on the uh, fenders there to show the wear and burn and wear and tear on that. The back is pretty, like I say, is pretty much uh, left alone. Uh, I've coated, sealed the, the back part here in future and the front part I've, to, for a matte finish I've sealed just with uh, LA Totally Awesome Mop and Shine. So there it is. It'll be going into a little case there and on the shelf beside the uh, the other one. I've just uh, weathered up the bottom a little bit here just to put a little bit of uh, rust and dirt on it. Not too much uh, work on the bottom there but just to uh, give it a little bit of age. So uh, there it is. Came out uh, pretty well I think. I've managed to capture the effect. And uh, thanks very much for following along. I appreciate all the supporters and encouragers. So, uh, Bye for now.